hi if you are following this beginner series i have already explained different modules of aem and also started the beginner development tutorials so i have already explained how to create project and what is the use of ui frontend module as part of this tutorial i will explain what happened when you deploy your code base or new project to aem what things change which module goes where and how it work at a higher level as part of this tutorial we'll see at a higher level and in coming tutorial we'll see these concept in detail in different tutorials so if you are following this series i have created a project called geeks demo and we'll deploy this geeks demo so before we move on or before we deploy let's have a look of your aem what things should be available when you deploy this so it's a site there must be a new site right now it's not there in asset folder there must be a specific folder for geeks demo and inside crsd which i have already explained this is the id used for checking your uh, nodes and uh, files at a repository level so there must be a folder inside apps my project specific folder which is not there as of now there must be a folder for the configurations in conf it can be a cloud configuration it can be context aware configuration and workflows also goes here and obviously in content you will see the content what is here and the dam means assets so how you can deploy so this i have already explained to deploy on your local we already have profiles you just need to run profiles so we already pre-built profile available if you want to deploy as a single package club together all the packages or you can deploy one package individually so it, this i have already explained so let's deploy this first and say p auto install package so this profile p should be capital this profile deploy your entire code entire project on your local local aem author it does not identify what whether it's author or published this this profile only check what is the ip means it's running on your local and what is the port so these things have been defined in properties in the project which i have already explained if you are running your aem in a different port so you can change port either in properties in code base or you can override here using hyphen d option i'll not uh, show you that so let me deploy this now so i see success everything everything successful fully if i refresh this i should see a website see geeks demo is available and there is by default a few pages are available which i have already explained like what is this is the blueprint language master uh, if you have multi-country site where you have to use uh, live copies and language copies there are already detailed tutorial available over this channel i'll leave a link there and inside folder you must see one more folder for geeks demo which has already come here and inside as i said let me refresh this and you must see a geeks here where the code entire code is present code and osgi configuration your client lips stay here your project specific folder right and you must see inside conf let me refresh this there must be one more see the geeks demo and where you contain different uh, cloud configuration context aware configuration your template also stays here editable templates and obviously the content should have the site which is i have already see this is the replica of this here right it, it's added and you must see inside experience fragments also you must see a folder here you see the geeks demo basic experience fragments have been created and in content some basic or demo pages have been created this is my language master basically blueprint this is for if you are using multi-country sites then you have to use live copy and language copy that's the different story if you open this page pre uh, created page and add it you will see some components are already there so the a skeleton has been created where you have all the things what you need to write your own custom code you did not write any code till now but still you have a project ready so you can create a page as well click on here create page let's say and the template is also available so let's create let's say home page right create and open you see few components are already here it's a title 
and this is navigation bar and footer if i try to add any component plus this sign you will see the components here you will see the group name geeks demo hyphen content i did not create any component as of now but but i still see few components in my project specific group so where these components are coming from right i did not write any code right so let me create a component called button right button and edit this so i added some information to button don't worry about this what this bus button is doing we are talking about the structure save it so you see the button has been created now button has some functionality and if i go to view as a view as published so this is author mode you can check these component as a published mode means how the component will look like to the end user so if you open the here and you will see the button right you can click that button and it's going to home page because i authored in this way but important point is from where these components are coming i did not write anything and so what happened when you create project there are some components available to you there are two type of component i will explain this in a separate tutorial but for your understanding there are two type of components foundation components or core components these days core components comes with your project as soon as you deploy your project core components are also deployed in case of am as a cloud service these core component are part of lib means you do not need to deploy separately but as am as a st standalone project you, these are part of your code base and whatever the version you define in your code base that will be deployed okay so now let's go back to this home page right which we created it is happening means see everything is there i did not do anything rest everything is available template available component available but what these components are before we move on to this part let's go back to this page right it has some component right so you have to have editor here if you are directly opening it if you open from here it will itself add editor so let me do that as well see this editor you must understand what is the role of these tabs here because these are important so first tab where you see your assets means your images you can have other documents and where you have whatever kind of document you have you can apply filter and all so you can drag and drop your components assets from here second one is your components what are the components available to add to this parses this parses or if you have multiple parses on your page right these parses you can define in your template right we'll talk about that so these are the components available right you can filter as by the group as well geeks demo content geeks demo form so these components are available to drag and drop on this either you can drag and drop from here or you can click here and you will see a plus button you can add from here as well right third one what happens when your page means in practical scenario you add number of components it can be the hundreds of more than hundreds on the single page at that time and you have nested components as well like you added one component inside that you added another and another so there is a hierarchy nested hierarchy so sometimes it's difficult to identify your component which component is where so these are called content tree which shows you all the components available over your page so if you see here this is title which says here title and then these components so you will see where these components are these components are under container so first it has a container so the container is shown here inside if you expand this you will see this teaser what is this teaser when you click over here the component is highlighted here as well and vice versa if you click over here this component is highlighted so from this content tree you can see what are the component deployed on your page or use on your page at what hierarchy so it shows you complete hierarchy right in this way now you must have a question you see only these components but am can have any number of components right you can reuse those components component be, can be from other projects or other groups so why don't you see other components here why only you see these so these components are defined in your template in template you can define what are the components or the group available for this specific parses right so what you can do for this go to your template 
you can go to the template straight away or you can go from here as well say editable edit template so it will lend you on the template which is used to create this page right edit this so i landed on this template so what you see th this is the parses actually this is the container what is being used there if you come here and see the page not this this one okay this is basically a container inside container you have this right so where my template is here click on this and you see this is called policy policy we'll talk about this in coming tutorials as part of beginner series i have already explained what is policy open this and you will see here allowed component what are the allowed component for this container and this container contains this parses so you will see here it says these are the component either you can check entire group or you can select individual component so let me add my other components here where are those am geeks let me add these as well i selected those and say okay now if i go back on this page and refresh this and again go to the content tree here you will see number of components available now now aem geeks components are also available you can verify from here as well click here now you will see this one geeks demo and see aem geeks content is also available so that way you can define what are the components available for a specific parses you can enable those using template in case of editable template now let's understand from these components are coming from your project specific component even you did not create those so if you go to the crxt and go to your apps and specific folder here and go to the components you will see number of components created here but let's say the example of button only because we use button so if you click on this there's no file available nothing is here you have just have only node so from where this functionality is coming so for this you will check a property called sling colon resource super type so this property you will see this property this property basically define from where the functionality is coming because this is called inheritance we'll talk about this property in detail in coming tutorial so that's why we used to call these components as a proxy component sometime proxy component means these are just proxy of core components so this is the proxy of my core button component core button v2 component right so this is called a uh, proxy component this is not a standard term but this term is being used everywhere so just understand concept not specific word so what happening if you see here this is my you will see a path here but what is this path okay this is called core wcm but if you check every path inside must be here either starting from apps lips whatever these paths are so what happened core means this is called relative path so how am works i'll talk about this in detail am first search this path in apps this folder because this is a user defined or project defined uh, functionality is here if it doesn't find here then it will go to lips right so this is the standard term first it will try to search here and then it will go here this is true for your functionality not for content again i'm saying let's say you it, try to find if you give a relative path so it will first come here and then go here in lips if it doesn't find in apps so what happened let me click this again what happened it will try to search in apps core wcm component so let's check whether it's available so core is here wcm components and say buttons and here is v2 v2 and you will find a button here now you will see the entire scripts or the sightly or the dialogue everything is written here so the entire functionality is being used from here whatever you see here this is just a proxy node or we can say proxy component the title of this will be whatever is there in your comp node your component right but the functionality is coming from the core components and why because of this property 
this property is used to inheritance in AEM. We'll talk about this. So same way other components are also work. These components are called proxy components, but these are pointing to the core components. So that's why whatever the functionality or core component has, those are available for your project. Now you must have one more question. How your entire page is rendering? You have reusable piece of code using component, but how this entire page, because you have navigation, you have footer, you have other stuff as well. So there's a main component called page component. So this is a combination of page component and your editable template or template. So let me open this page in CRXT so that you can check what's happening there. So open this here, CRXT and go to the specific page. So this is the page, right? Our EN page. If you expand this, you will find a node called JCR column content. So this is the node which contain your entire content. If you click over here, this is the properties of your page level, right? Page level without any component. So you will see two properties which are important here. This is called template. This is called template template right which is pointing to my page content template here and it is where it is conf geeks demo settings which i have all explained there are templates and another property called resource type to my a geeks demo component page so now again it's a relative so first it will check in apps so it will find here in apps and it will go to this page component so basically page component is used to write entire functionality which is used to render your page means whatever needed let's say for the uh, for showing title to add client labs to add meta tags whatever the tags and all basically what is needed for your particular page everything is written there so let's go back and check what is there so if you so come here where my component uh, here geeks demo and components and you will find the page component so this component contain entire scripts but you will see only two scripts here right and these are just to add my client library right so but if you open if you click on this again you will go to this core components and where you are going here the core core components and component page come here and it must be the page and v3 so now you will see the entire scripts written here so because it was a super resource type it was inheriting all these scripts means all these files so whatever in nutshell whatever you want to write at a page level you will be writing at your page component you can have more than one page component because inheritance work we'll talk about the inheritance in coming tutorial so two things are important your template and your page component so the first means this page when you create whatever is there on page that is combination of your template and your page component so first the page component rendered or whatever the functionality it provide it will available and then whatever you add it at the template so this page is combination of page component and template now on top of that you can add whatever you want means you can add your custom components I hope you understood this was just at a high level how this structured in coming tutorial we'll see these in detail thank you